Edward Root and Theodoros Stamos developed a friendship based on their mutual interests in art and nature. Stamos, born in New York City of Greek parents, began exhibiting his art in the early 1940s at commercial galleries and the Whitney Museum of American Art. Root was one of his first patrons, collecting numerous Stamos paintings between 1945 and 1953. Stamos later recollected, Edward visited with me in my studio quite often, where I left him to go through the paintings which were stacked along the walls. He would sit by himself, going through them, arriving at three or four, which he would buy at once, outright. Fellow artist Barnett Newman wrote that Stamos's paintings achieved true communion with nature, and that Stamos didn't paint with a distanced, romantic act of worship. It was Stamos's ability to evoke sublime forces in nature that initially attracted Root to his work. When Stamos moved to East Marion, New York, on Long Island, he found a congenial atmosphere for his work, writing to Root that he spent his days gardening, discovering wildflowers, and sighting birds, which all in one way or another finally shows itself in my pictures. Stamos's earliest works, such as The Charming Blue Fish, 1944, are representational. The next year, however, he began painting more abstractly, so that in Seedling, Movement of Plants, and Cosmological Battle, Stamos used earth tone colors as well as shapes resembling leaves, pine cones, or similar organic material that float in an undefined space. These compositions suggest pulsing cycles of seasonal change at an essential level. In the mid-1940s, Stamos also created paintings with a predominantly blue-green palette, as if he were evoking oceanic realms. By the early 1950s, Stamos's style evolved to a more geometric abstraction, the beginnings of which can be seen in paintings such as in Browns. It was Stamos' painting from the mid to late 1940s, the subject matter for which was clearly nature-inspired, that most captivated Root. The content of works such as Movement of Plants, Cosmological Battle, and Seedling, all from 1945, suggest loamy earth in the process of decay and regeneration. In their earth-toned palettes and organic forms, these paintings elicit a wealth of associations to primal mythology and a mysterious realm of nature. As a longtime resident of central New York State, Root could readily appreciate the elegiac tone of autumnal hues, the weight of long, dark winters, and the visceral, primitive feelings of celebration when spring finally reemerges. <laughs> 